Hey guys, welcome to today's video. <laughs> Oh. Being so awkward. How's it going? <laughs> so we just finished our OSB. Are your knees thing. okay right now? My knees are dying. <laughs> um, <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> okay, finally. We just finished all of our OSB. Sorry, I didn't really make a lot of videos about that. I was really just really busy. busy and like doing stuff. It's kind of hard, but um, I just made a little video about like just a little tour of the house so far so you guys can see that and I gave a little bit of tips for the OSB <laughs> and then now we're doing the Tyvek wrap so I wanted to kind of just do a little short video and let you know about any little things that we need to do that we come across which we already kind of have we have an a-frame roof so it's gonna be a little tricky but tricky we're gonna for me. <laughs> I have to hold the wrap oh right no. yeah it's hard work hold the wrap. Bummer. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something and thanks so much for watching. Alright, and we'll see you guys next time. Babe, stop making that face. You're making a face. <laughs> Alright, love you guys. Bye. I'm watching this video back and realizing that there is just not much going on. <laughs> so putting up the Tyvek wrap was a lot harder than we thought it was gonna be. It was actually like one of the hardest parts for us. Um, I think just the shape of our house, it was just really hard. And with the A-frame roof, because it was like shorter than the eight feet, which is the length of the Tyvek wrap, it just got pretty complicated and difficult. So you can see here that we're trying, um, I just have my camera set up so it can record us, but soon enough you will see that we stopped recording and only got like halfway through this wall because it was just really hard. So um, some tips that I would say, um, like the way that we're doing it worked, like I was just holding the roll and kind of going across and Michael was going back and stapling it in. You just have to make sure that you keep it really straight, which is hard. So make sure there's a really level surface either on the bottom or on the top that's like a straight line that you can go off of. So you can make sure that your tight back wrap is staying straight the whole way through. So that way you'll avoid like all the bubbles and creases and things like that. So hopefully that will help out a little bit. Um, trying to think of some other tips that we use. Uh, as you guys can see here, like we're gonna start going over the roof. And that's when things just got really complicated because we had to make cuts to support like the triangles. So basically what we ended up doing is at the end, after we put the roll all the way around the house, um, we just did a lot of patchwork. Like we did all the way around the house and then we did the roof as well. And the top of the dormers, we covered that too. But we had to make so many cuts that there were just so many holes in the Tyvek wrap. So, um, and it was too much to just use the Tyvek wrap tape and to tape them up and stuff. So we kind of went over a couple spots twice. We cut out big patches and put those on like with staples and then taped all the creases. Um, so we just like, we made it work. It's definitely not professional, but we did the best that we could. So after we put it on, then we went through and used Tyvek tape to do every single like cut or crease that's on the Tyvek rub. You're supposed to cover it with the tape. So we did that. That took like the longest time for sure, but we just wanted to make sure that the house was super waterproof. So that's what we did. Um, and then you'll see here that I stopped filming because <laughs> it was just too hard. This was like the next day, just a little update that we did it all the way across around the whole entire house. And then you'll see next that there's a couple pictures and that's all that I really have for the tip back wrap. But I promise you guys can do it. Look up videos on YouTube. It will help a lot. But once you get the process down, it makes it a little bit easier and then your house will be fully waterproof. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.